Hi, I'm Matt, UX designer at Google Play. As a Play Console user, you know that releasing an app is a big deal. That's why we've updated the release flow to make it clearer and easier to use so you can release with confidence. The first thing you'll notice is that we've reorganized the navigation bar. Play Console now groups features by category to make them easier to find. Testing tracks, for example, are now found under test. You may notice that we've added a new releases overview, which shows you all of your releases across all tracks at a glance. You can review the status of your internal, closed and open testing tracks and your production track. Using filters and search tools, you can find any release quickly. See how many users are testing your app or the latest countries you've rolled out to. We believe the releases overview page will become the anchor of your new release management process. When you want to manage or find more information about a specific track, you'll find it in its own dedicated section. Just select the track you want to see from the releases overview page to open the release details page. Play Console uses a very flexible system that allows you to implement your QA processes on three types of tracks. Internal testing, which allows you to create and manage releases for up to 100 testers. Closed testing, which helps you get feedback on early versions of your app from trusted testers outside of your company. And open testing, which allows you to do a final quality check before your full release. When you're managing a track, it's important to focus on one step at a time. So we've separated your track's configuration tools into their own tabs. Depending on the type of track you're using, you'll see tools divided into three key sections, releases, country and regions, and testers. When you're ready to make your app available on Google Play, we recommend doing a staged rollout so you can catch any last minute issues before they affect more users. If you're ready to launch to everyone at once, you can publish your app exactly when you want to. After your app submission is approved, you can decide when to publish your app with Managed Publishing instead of it going live immediately after approval. Once your app is live, you can monitor your key release metrics on the release dashboard in the production track. I hope this gives you a good idea of what's new and what's changed about release management in the new Play Console. To get a more thorough walkthrough of all the changes with release management, check out our Releases with Confidence session. Information about the session is linked in the video description below. Give the new Play Console a try, and if you have any questions or feedback, please let us know. Thanks for being part of the Google Play community.